Lebanese, the Indians, the Europeans, and other foreigners were dominating the market. I came back, the Chinese has joined them. When will we dominate the market in our own country? That's my question to you all. When will we dominate the market in our country in all sectors? I really do. Don't mind all my venting, my ranting, all of the place, I'm all of the place, making sense, I don't make sense. But deep in my heart, I want us to come here and enjoy this country. Nabiru is really sweet when you got small money, it's sweet. Nabiru mm. is beautiful and it's sweet. Come, let's enjoy this sweet mama Nabiru. Eh? Mm -hmm. I love you too and I thank you and I appreciate you. I'm trying to see how many eggs my chicken coop. It's a temporary chicken coop. The chicken coop is being built in the back of the land. But Miss Nini was having eggs. Ah, we got six eggs. All right. She lay one egg every day. I'm not going to eat those one or let those eggs hatch. But this is the box we made for her. Three boxes. For one of, I'm going to get some more chickens. This is the temporary chicken. A coop. Whatever. What is this thing here? I don't like this one. Uh -huh. Sorry, you guys. My phone be acting up. So this is a temporary chicken coop. So she goes there and leave her eggs. The chicken house. Uh, you see her flomo? Flomo? My man, what's up, man? How can you only noise when I'm on the, when I'm doing video? Here the rest of them here. Angels like to chase the chicken. I want, I'm trying to capture her on the video one of these days. I hope I could. Okay, Flomo, thank you. You're a good boy. I got you. Yes. These frisky chickens, them. This man just standing right here making noise. What's up, Lomo? You see your wife, Nini? Your wife, Nini, get, have given me six eggs. She lay one egg every day. You see the two white? One name is Macintosh. The wife name is... His wife name is Snow White. I mean, I'm on the phone. You don't see me? I have my shadow right there. <laughs> the sun cast a shadow. Where is Angel? Her food is not hurting no more, so she's running all over the yard. I gotta be looking for her. Angel! Where are you? And she's in the garden. Let's go get him. He's back there. He's building the chicken house. Come, let's go get him. He's over here. Come on, let's go. So you guys, I'm walking to the back of my land. See the ocean view. I'm walking to the back of my land. And Angel's behind me. She said the sun is too hot. She's been lazy. Come on, let's go get him. Come on, let's go. So you see that structure in the back? Let me see if I can zoom. You guys, you see? And my chicken coop, or chicken house I'm building right over here. Yeah. That's my chicken house. Chicken coop. So the, the, the young man that works for me, he's 19, or he's eight. He had his birthday in September. He turned 20. Um, he will be helping me. But you see the door? A three-story chicken house or chicken coop. So we enter through the door. We have floors there, floors there. And he'll make a long ladder for us, I guess, for us and the chicken to clear to go to the top floor. And we'll, we'll, the, the plan is... Um, let me see if I can get closer. That's not quite what I had in mind, but I really didn't know what I had in mind, so he just did his best. Mm -hmm. Anybody out there watching that have a better practical chicken house, talk to me. Otherwise, we'll build this when I'm ready in another year. I'll tear it down and do something better or bigger. Anyway, this is going to be, this is a flow. You're going to put, let me enter the door. Somebody over there enjoying sniffing. So this is the entrance you enter to my left. This whole area here, you will cover this whole area with wawa. This is what they call wawa. This stick right here. I don't know the right name in America. You know, in Liberia, we have our own, we have our own vernacular, our own like vocabulary. Anyway, um, so we cover this over here with the wawa. So this is the whole floor. I told him to leave a space here so I can be able to step over. See now I'm stepping over. I come inside. Let me hold one stick. I'm stepping over. Boom. So I have enough space to stand here and be able to access my chicken. Or I can crawl on the wawa. So that'll be one floor here. This area also will be 
the same thing wawa the hope is because of wawa except a little opening for me to step in this other area will be wawa be like a whole floor you see there there's one there you'll cover the whole thing that little section over there he said you put the chicken box for them to lay their eggs yes go to the second floor he will have the same thing i'll be wawa so this whole thing will be floor floors above me the same thing floors floors uh -huh. and he will put a long or ladder you will nail a ladder or a step i can go from here to the second floor so the only access down here i can stand down and be able to access the chicken or go to the second floor i have to climb on the ladder and then get like a really long broom a really long broom to be able to clean well, you know i mess no chicken poop but they're very good fertilizer so what we want to do is after he's done with the wawa he make the floors we're going to go to a carpenter shop and look for what you call it we call this stuff sawdust we'll use sawdust so we'll put it we'll put the wawa there we'll put the whole floor with wawa then we'll get the sawdust and put it over this or i was thinking we'll put the thatch we we'll cut the thatch the fresh green thatch and put them here because once they get after maybe two three weeks they can get dried up we can take it out because we have to clean it we can't leave the poop there with the sawdust and the thatch that's how the chicken can get diseases and spread it amongst each other and get sick and there goes your chicken poultry business eh? so anybody into chicken poultry business talk to me tell me what's a better idea how do you clean it what's a practical sensible way to clean it because they will get sawdust sprinkle the sawdust and then put a thatch on top of it and then every three weeks four weeks sweep out the sawdust and the thatch we can put them to the bottom floor here and then um put some new one put another new one there what y'all think we're gonna put chicken net and we're gonna put chicken wire around here so nothing can crawl. We're gonna have net and wire. The wire still have some enough holes where I think my thumb can fit through the, the wire holes. So we'll put the wire, then we'll put the net over the wire. Yeah, so there'll be no intruder. Nothing can go through the net. It's like mosquito net. It's so tiny, nothing can really go through. I mean nothing other than breeze and water if it rains. That's about it. Enjoy is learning like the African dogs not to be eating some grass. They gotta see animal knows what kind of grass to eat when they're having stomach ache, but she ain't got no stomach ache. She been eating and running around. Oh, it's so nice and shady. The sun, the sun going, the sun is in front of me. But you guys, you see. So this my chicken hut, chicken hut, chicken coop, chicken house, whatever you want to call it. Here it is. So we have three levels. The first level I can help to clean because I can stand on the ground with a nice long broom and be able to clean. But the second and the third level, I'm gonna send Cyrus to do with my son. The young man that, uh, he don't really live with me. He live in the village, but he comes here to work. Uh -huh. He's off today because he's bereaved. His father-in-law passed, so he's not here today. But he, he said he come back tomorrow because he want to work, he needs money. You know how it is. I say, I know how it is. And when somebody passed in the village, that whole two, three months, they see the city on the mat. So I went and say, have my sympathy. But it's like the whole village, everything shut down. One of my guys, who's my security, he said he's mad with his wife because when he go home from work, nothing is ready, food, nothing is ready because they sit on the mat the whole day. I said, you got to talk to her. And she can sit on the mat 24 hours because she got little babies and children to take care of. She got you to take care of and she's a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. You can be, be bereaved, but the, she, she leave her house and go sit on the mat the whole day. Anyway, I didn't come here for that. I don't give you some lo from latest gist, eh? Uh, forgive me. I didn't mean to go that route. Or did I? Anyway. <laughs> so that's my chicken coop right there, you guys. Angel, what you sniffing in the ground over there? Get your nose out of the dirt. See the cornerstone one is my cornerstone one is one of my sisters she's in the states that's her land right next to mine i told her she cannot sell that land if she's going to sell it she's going to sell it to me because i don't want nobody else living next to me so if she decides to sell it i'm going to buy it from her 
to make sure don't nobody be next to me. Because you got the wrong neighbor. You can your life can be a hell. You got the best neighbor, your life can be paradise. And I'm the best neighbor. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh the breeze back here is so cool. I don't even want to go back today. Because you see on that side of the land the sun is shining bright. And in the back of the land over here is so cool. You see the shade here? You see the shade? Just put a chair here and just lay down and sleep. That's how the breeze feels so good. Right, Oma? Okay, let's go back to the house. Unless we stand here all day, but I didn't bring any chair to sit back here. So we're going back to the house. We're going back to the house. We are going back to the house. Talk to me, you guys. What's on your mind? What other subjects we like to discuss on this channel? The African blogger, Veretra. And Veretra is not really my name, but some people call me Veretra. It's okay. Veretra is an acronym for vacation, relocation, and travel. V A, vacation, R E, relocation, T R A, travel. It's an acronym I put together. You know, I like unique stuff. I like unique, different. You don't want to be like everybody else. Everybody in the inside, within the deep, within the heart. We all have the desire to stand out, to be different. Nobody wants to be cookie cutter, be like everybody else, copycat. Me, I don't like copycat. Be unique and be different. You can do the same, it's almost an example, you can do the same business that somebody else is doing, but the way you would do it will be a little bit different because you are different. Every snowflakes are not the same, isn't it? Every fingerprints, even for identical twins, are not the same. God, did, God is not a copycat. So you find somebody who are, who love to copy everyone. They can be unique and creative and different. You got to know what spirit is in them. Because the spirit of God in you, you won't like to copy. Like different, unique, stand out. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going with this subject. Somebody will tell me. What's up? I still got land to sell. Beach land, river view land, farm land, vacation land. Even land that's not on the beachfront. You know, somebody rebuked me the other day and I said, yes, you are correct, sir. That's why I keep advertising the ocean front. What about the land behind the ocean front? And there's plenty of land behind the ocean front. I will do a video later on today when the sun goes down because it's too hot. So you guys, you walk with me and Angel from the back of the land to the front. And here goes my kitchen garden. We are walking through the kitchen garden. Yeah, see dry season's coming. Dry season is coming, so it's hot. I gotta water my babies them tonight. My my plant, my vegetable. Come and see my beans. Come and see my beans. Look how big. Look at this one. It's so long. Look at my beans. Hey, hey. we gonna eat beans. Come and see my beans. Look at that. Uh huh. Y'all see my potato grains my potato greens and that's pumpkin growing up there huh look at look at my turmeric getting big that's natural organic turmeric see my potato greens this is a dinner beet let's see how far it goes you guys I got a kitchen tree somewhere you see my garden it's coming together I order my greenhouse from Amazon to help with the sea erosion. Um, the sea breeze, the water, sea breeze, salt, is what makes them sometimes they get yellow, they die. So that's why I have this thatch to black that, in case if it's your first time watching. But if it's not your first time, you should know why the thatch fence is there. So once my greenhouse come from Amazon, we'll tear down that thatch stuff and then cover the whole area. A nice kitchen garden. Look at these guys. They're sleeping. Right in front of my door, sleeping. Angel, leave the chicken. Angel, going home with the chicken. The people, I don't know if they're taking this. They say dirt bath. They always camp out at my door, my back door, because I give them food sometimes. 90% of the time, they feed themselves in the forest. Just so she tired. Sometimes she be chasing the chickens. 
I think they're taking a dirt bath or they're taking a nap. I don't know what they're taking. They're taking something. Do so you can raise chicken. What's up? So I have two roosters. I have two hens. The white one and the black one. One is a rooster, one is a hen. Excuse me, the two white. One is a rooster, one is a hen. The two black, of course. One is a rooster, one is a hen. The hen is the one she gave me six eggs. Every day she leave one egg. So I was going to eat it, but I said, let me keep it. Let it hatch. Once they hatch, the next... The next set of eggs she leave she lays next time i'm gonna eat some mm -hmm. I'm just saying, no, I ain't gonna mess with those dudes. So I need you to please do me a favor. Make sure you share, you subscribe, you invite, leave your comments in the comment section, and let me know. Let's talk. When are you coming home? At least for vacation. At least to see me an angel. Or at least to drop our treats off. Or at least to visit somebody. Or at least to buy a piece of land, a piece of property from me. Or at least to start breaking ground or start building or at least to start developing or at least to start something here start something home you know there's no place like home start something at home start something stop spending all your money going to dubai and the uk and to canada and to paris and to the western nation for vacation ain't nothing wrong with that we all once upon a time we had a mindset now our mindset have to shift we can't always sit down and complain that the continent of Africa is this, or Liberia is this, or Nigeria is this, Kenya is this and that and the other. If we're not willing to roll up our sleeves, put our hands in the dirt, and begin to mobilize, come together, and build up our country or our continent. If we don't do it, who will? And if not now, when? And if not you, who? Thank you very much. Eh? You see this fresh one? That food is waiting for, because I'm standing at the door. My door is behind me. So you guys, come on. You guys come on home. I say you guys come on home. I say you guys come on home. Let's do this. Come home. All those vacations in Mexico and Jamaica and all those places. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't got nothing wrong with the people. I, I don't know. I don't hate them. I ain't got nothing to do with them. I don't hate nobody. I'm just talking to Africans. Why are you picking my legs? That food you want? I'm just talking to those who have the desire and the interest to come home. Those of you done, it's okay too. We're not gonna be enemies. I don't I'm not gonna hate you. We're not gonna start World War Three over that. It's okay. But those who have the interest and the desire, come on home. If you are honest with yourself, you will look around and see the Western nation that things are not the way they used to be. If you are honest though, you see the man picking my feet? That food he want though. He pecking my feet because he wants food. He's the only one I can eat out of my hands. The rest of them afraid. I have to put the food in the ground. But here's what I put it in my hand. He's going to eat. His name is Macintosh. Macintosh. What do you want, Macintosh? Macintosh. Macintosh. That's my boy. Hi, Mac. What's up? Who's a good boy? Yes. My Macintosh is a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, my baby's a good boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah, Macintosh is a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, I know. Who's a good boy? I can't eat you now. You want some food? Oh, this boy's a good boy. Look at you. Look at you. Eh? Eh. Sometimes you can get jealous. Sometimes you want to fight Angel. Uh -huh. Now he's claiming the steps. He said, I want my food. So what was I saying before Macintosh? And he knows his name. Macintosh? Who's a good boy? Who's my boy? Yeah, he's, that's the man. And that's the female here. How you know it's the man? He got his afro top. Mm -hmm. So how you know? Mac Mac? Where's my Mac boy? Come on, boy. Come on, Mac. He's my boy. Eh? That's my boy. Da, da, da. Oh, Mac is a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh. Who's a good boy? You want some food to eat, eh? You want something to eat? Yes? Oh, okay, I'll get you something. Okay, just wait some more, eh? All right, let me finish the video. You see, I don't bond with my chicken, so... How could you eat that? I can't. I can't even sell it. I cannot sell it. I cannot give it away. That's my son right now. You see Flomo with frisky seven in the dirt. 
Plomo, what are you doing? Everybody finished taking bath now. You're still taking your dirt bath. So what was I saying? Ain't nothing wrong with going to vacation in Dubai, Mexico, China, Jamaica, Bahamas. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you guys have done it. Some of you have done it for years. It's got a Disney World or Disneyland or go to Florida. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But some of you have gone there for every year. And some of you are African. Some of you are Liberians, Nigerians. Can you once even consider coming to put some of that money and vacation here? If not in Liberia, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Kenya, South Africa, Mozambique, Namibia. Some of you don't even have... Some of you Africans, I want to talk to some of you Africans. You don't even have the interest, the love, the desire to even want to vacation anywhere in the continent. You just have written it off completely. But then when somebody say wrong, something bad about Africa, you want to say, oh, that black life matter, or you want to say the person racist. You who not racist, you love your country so much, or your continent so much. When last you vacation there? Talk to me. Let's be honest, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to make anybody feel guilty or feel bad, but let's be honest. Let's be brutally and sincerely honest with ourselves and with each other. That's the only way we can get any great change in life. Whether individually, personally, corporately, that's the only way you can, you can get any kind of change or growth in life. By starting with yourself and being brutally, sincerely honest. As some of you can vacation, spend hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars vacation anywhere in the world. You never once have the thought, why did I go to Liberia? Why did I go to Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria? Togo, Benin, Namibia, Mozambique, South Africa, Cameroon, Niger, Cote d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, wherever. I'm just talking. When last you stop, but you, when last you stop to think, let me go on vacation. Let me look at the continent of Africa and just put my, just grab the map and just stick my finger, any close my eyes and stick my finger on any country when I open my eyes, that's where I'm taking my family this year. We're going to start a new tradition this year. And every year, we're going to pick one country in Africa and go there for vacation. Eh? When are you going to do that? Talk to me. I love you. I don't hate you. I ain't mad at you. We're not fighting. We're not enemies. We are brothers. We are sisters. But I'm asking the honest question. Can you start that tradition? You might say Africa is perfect, but I guarantee you, your western, your concrete jungle, your modern day slavery and your western concrete jungle you're living in, they ain't perfect either. If you're honest, if you look around and, and watch your news locally, you can know something is up in America, Canada, UK, the western nation. You can know something is up, it ain't right, and it hasn't been that way for a long time, and it's going down and going to a downward spiral, if you're honest. So now, since, since the western nation ain't perfect, now there's Africa, choose one out of the imperfection. It's like the less of two evil, eh? No, but Africa is not evil. I'll take that back. Ain't nothing evil about Africa. Uh-uh. So look here, who's going to come on vacation? At least cause come here. When my house is finished, I got a two bedroom and a two bathroom. So I can have one as a guest. Because you see that zinc shack, I will tear it down and turn it into the one. Look at the boys' quarters. That's a three room there. You see there? You see one the door. You see the other one where the orange chair is sitting. And you see the other one where the top holding is. Right now is my temporary chicken house. Until the house in the back is completed. But that's where they're staying for now. At night time, they go there and they sleep. But that's a three-room shack. When I tear down that shack, one of them will be the, like a boys' quarters. I will make it two-story upstairs and downstairs. One will be like my storage room, and then the other one will be my garage. I will just drive. This is the main room. I will just drive and just turn right in here, go straight to my garage. It will be a closed-in garage. What was I saying? I don't even know. I don't got how I got on this subject. The point is, I want y'all to come home. No matter what I say, what I don't say, my deepest desire is for all of us to come home and enjoy this beautiful paradise, this virgin land, this clean land, this vast ocean of land, this vast array of land. Who will develop it, beloved? If not you, who? If not now, when? Who's going to do it? Tell me, who's going to do it? That angel, angel here enjoying this beautiful ocean breeze and blowing her hair. You see there? She got her hair blowing the wind. I don't chop up all my hair. Eh? Come on, you guys. When are you going to come home? If not you, who? If not now, when? Thank you very much. Leave your comments, your suggestions below. I appreciate you.